Hi guys, uh, this is Yana. Today I'll show you how to use this TDS meter. Uh, TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. Uh, it's basically the hardness of the water. So you can use this device to measure the hardness or TDS of your drinking water. Um, according to who, I think uh, if your water has TDS below 300 ppm, that is parts per million it's excellent to drink and if uh, uh, it's uh, within the range of 300 to 500 or 600 it's okay okay i mean the water quality is okay to drink and if it if it's beyond 1200 or 300 then it's not suitable uh, to drink the water so i have uh, two glass two tumblers here this left one has uh, tap water and this this one has uh, packaged drinking water bisleri water so ideally this bisleri water should have less tedious than this tap water and uh, let's take a look at this device itself this has a display here and uh, this is the hold button temperature button and on off button uh, so you can actually measure the temperature, air temperature, or water temperature uh, using this temperature button and this is the on off button and uh, hold button is used when you put it inside water and you want to uh, stay the, I mean you want that this uh, reading uh, to stay there for a while so you can press the hold otherwise it will disappear so there's this cap and this came came with this carry case and this manual so if you take a look inside uh, there are two pins three pins actually there are two pins and there is one pin cylindrical pin I don't know what is that so there's a sensor I guess so uh, this says RSM design in USA TDSC meter so basically you can put uh, this device up to put this device in water up to this mark or two inches it's not fully waterproof so if you put it the whole thing into the water then it will uh, I think it may get ruined so you have to take that into account so just put you have to put it up to this so how to use this uh, first you have to turn on put the uh, I mean uh, press the on off button then let's put it first into the bisleri water or drinking water let's see how much reading we get here uh, actually the manual says uh, within 30 seconds it should stabilize it's already stabilized so you can take it out I'll press the hold so that it will stay here the reading will stay so as you can see it says 13 ppm parts per million and now I'll put it in into the tap water so it should the tap water sh ideally should uh, have more tedious than the drinking water so I'll press the hold button again so now again I put it inside Okay. so it's the reading is stabilized 53 I'll press the hold button and take it out so as you can see it says 53 ppm uh, here I also have some salt I just wanted to test like if I put some salt in the water that is uh, whether the TDS is increasing or not ideally it should increase because it's also salt uh, solids in the water so I'll put a little bit of salt in it uh, also the range of this device is 0 to 9990 9990 ppm so if the water has more tedious than 9990 ppm then you you would get a display like error or something because it has a range of 9,900 so I'll put this much amounts of salt maybe it's a bit more okay 
let's put a little bit of salt okay this much we have TDS of 53 now it should increase let's see how much it increases I'm stirring a bit so that the salt gets dissolved in the water as you can see the TDS uh, of this tap water was 53 before I added the salt so let's press the hold button again now I'll put it inside the uh, water it has increased a bit 113 114 let's see 115 Oh, it's not 115, it's it's 1150, so the TDS has increased to 11,050 ppm. As you can see, there is a multiplication sign and there is a 10 after that. So it's increased from 53 to 1150 ppm with that much amount of salt. So you have to be careful like how much you want to put. So let's see, I will put some more and let's see with, uh, uh, let's check the range of it. So I'm, I'm putting a bit more. Uh, it's uh, 1150, let's see if it's increased how much it has increased now one nine seven into ten so it's basically increased to nineteen 170 ppm so this way you can measure the ppm up to 9990 so that's it guys and uh, there's a battery inside it I don't know how to remove it or how to replace the battery if uh, anybody has any queries please let me know thanks for watching bye